we'll do the whole lake. If you have any questions along the way about certain parts of the lake, ask. I know just about every part of the lake. Um, I'm going to point out, to keep it simple, I'm just going to point out the places you, you can't go. Um, and talk a little, a little bit about where, where you can go when it's important. But most of the lake you can, most of the lake you'll find is, is pretty easy to navigate. You can go just about anywhere. Um, the biggest thing I tell people is that if you look at the topography around the lake, you know, hills and valleys everywhere, especially if you go for walks in the woods, you just walk up and then it drops off. The bottom of the lake is no different. There's two spots out in the lake that I found, actually found one a couple of weeks ago. I'm, I'm driving down the middle of the lake out where um, the Boston Strong Place is. I don't know if you guys know it. Um, <coughs> right across from um, Bruce's place, actually. And I was watching the bottom of the lake and it's, you know, 27, 28, 27. I'm, I'm riding in the valley, you know, just trying to find the valley of the lake, 27, 28. All of a sudden, it's 27, 18. 15, 12, wow. 7 feet, 12 feet, 15, 18, 27, in the span of here to the back of the marina. The lake just went right up like that. So, holy shit. So I went back and I found it and I tried to see if it was a, a ridge and nope, it was just a mound in, in the middle of the lake, about the size of the party boat. Wow. And there's another, there's actually another one of those spots that I found a few years ago. I was driving along about 40 miles an hour and Beep, beep, beep. The alarm goes off. So that maybe it's a stump or something. And so I turned back around and nope, it was seven feet deep right in the middle of the lake. Wow. Well, so uh, I'll point, I'll point those out. Those, those are fun. They're no danger, but, yeah. but they're fun. There's a bunch of spots around the lake like that. But my point is, is that the, the topography of the, the terrain surrounding the lake is exactly the same underwater. Um, it used to be a river way, way back in the day before they dammed it up, and it probably, there are some spots when they let the water all the way down, I think it goes down about 9 or 10 feet, so most of the lake, lake average is somewhere around 18 There's to 20, so there was yourself. still a good amount of do it for a living. wide open the ponds connected by kind of wide rivers when they, before they dammed it. How long ago was that, do you know? Oh Jesus, it had to be at least back in the 30s, 40s, somewhere in there. I don't know exactly when, but it was a while ago because they were they had resorts on the lake back in the 30s and 40s. They would people would come up by train to Wakefield Station down there and they would take them up by horse-drawn carriage to the different resorts around there. Wow. I think there was a farm up in what's now Wakefield, New Hampshire, and of course there was a very exclusive, you know, I, I forget the religious affiliation, you had to be, I was a Protestant, but you had to be a certain, you couldn't be of certain religious groups to go there, let's just say that. Yeah. Um, and that was down in Shady Nook, and they had dance halls and bathhouses and all sorts of things down wow. there. Wow. So, we'll get underway. Yeah, it's a, it's a good good history around the lake. There's a lot of cool stuff. <coughs> I think they've actually put out a book down in Shady Nook about that thick. Someone did of the history of the whole lake. Oh, yeah. 